Hi my dear friends, welcome to my research Infotech channel and uh, I hope you all are doing the fine and in this today's video, uh, listen carefully, we are going to show you, uh, we are going to tell you that the few are, few are the steps before you have been publishing your app for the 20 tester, there is a, some, uh, there is a, some list is there you need to check it out that the, before publishing your app, uh, like uh, uh, before before you publishing an app for a 20 with the 20 testers on a Google Play console, there are uh, several key steps to check you need to ensure. Uh, like first, uh, first app uh, proposition function test, make sure all the feature and functions apps all go through with the testings and bug fixing, addressing all knowing the bugs and the issues. Usually tester ensures that app is user friendly and in attitude like uh, make sure your app is like a easy and user friendly and there is a second guy complete uh, compliance and there is a guidelines make sure the google play uh, play policies ensure your app completely with the google play developer policies and guidelines and one more special point is permissions only require the necessary permission explain why they are being needed okay when you are giving any permission please make sure while publishing you need to ensure that what are the permissions you are giving and make sure that your app is being completely guidelines and complied with the google policies and the third step app configuration versions updated and app versions numbers applicable some people they have been mentioning like a version of 1000 2000 and version of 2 3 4 5 it is not a right thing Please make sure the version is 0 0.1 and uh, uh, version is 1 and the release version is 0 0.1. Like that you should make sure. Some people are write, writing random numbers and they are uploaded. It is not a proper way. Like versions updated the app versions number uh, appropriately. Please don't make it make a proper uh, numbers. And app logo and name ensure the app icon and name are correctly set you are keeping some else name and keeping your logo is look some elsewhere just like uh, you are taking the logo like a different kind of and you are writing a different name you are keeping the action logo but you are writing the dump some basic calculator app so it does not match so make sure what app you have been publishing or game publishing at the same logo you should mention based on that you have to mention the name please don't mismatch because while it's go under review it may be get a rejected and there is screenshot and description properly occur screenshots and details add description for the for the play console listing make sure what the description you're writing it should not have any copyright name or it should not have any bubble uh, vulgar words or it should not copy from any apps there is a, some kind of a uh, information you will just copy and paste and they will have their app name also make sure you does not mention any other app names you just make sure what is the general use of the app what are the functions you are defining please make sure you write in the description and in the description only please write the keywords in the short description and the long information write it in the long description with the enter specification and all the details okay so and apart from that uh, this screenshot also you take properly properly uh, exactly app screenshot and make sure it has been a decent way and proper way don't make it like a you are showing some other screenshot and its apps are showing different thing then again your app will be going to get a reject so please make sure what you are showing it should be a proper way and uh, fourth thing testing setup the internal testing setup of internal task on google play console for limited distribution so uh, most of the people what they are doing uh, while sending your app for the closer tester they will publish their apps in the internal testers internal tester is not for the app release for your publishing your app for the public you should make sure it should be uh, installed in the closer uh, closer testers 
not in the internal tester internal tester it's use only for the test your app how is your performance trying to test your app in the different different devices how the ui functioning how the OTPs are coming or not for those kind of functions but most of people i am seeing that they are publishing their app for the internal tester and they are asking me sir why it is been uh, our app has been not been came for the live because the reason is you are you are trying to test your app in the uh, internal tester not in the closer tester this is a big mistake you are doing please when you want to publish your app for the public make sure you publish in the closer tester not intent tester make sure of this and tester are invited add and invite your 20 tester their mail ids and make sure some people they have been publishing their app after leaving then you are there you are you are adding your 20 mail ids no that is not a right way when you added again 20 tester mail ids it's go under again review so it's take more you are waste of your time so please when you are trying to publish your app make sure you add your 20 tester only before your app go for the testers okay so make sure you added your all uh, 20 testers and feedback merchant setup system for the tester provided feedback easily when the user has installed your 20 tester app so who are testing your 20 testers please tell them to give the feedback based on your app so Google can able to see that what your problem has facing in your app and how the user have been performed. It may be rank your app and it is very good feature for that. And privacy and security. The fifth point is privacy and security. Privacy create a uh, link of uh, private policy of if your app is handling sensitivity user data. Please make sure you try to add the uh, policy link in your application. That is the most mandatory because uh see that some people are probably trying to publish your uh, test uh, uh, task app but in that what happened they won't add their policy but they have been taking the user data while they have been sign up pages there you should make sure you should write your policy also over there or you should add the link because what you are doing with the user data google wants to know and user also know so make sure you should make a policy uh, private policy uh, link in your application that is a make make sure it is an important point data data security ensure that user data protected and security storage you should clearly mention what you are going to do with the user data that is the most important thing and sixth point crash and performance monitoring the cash uh, crash report integrated uh, Crash report tools like Firebase, Crash Analyze, Monitoring App Stability, Performance Monitoring User Tool, Monitoring App Performance and Identification Potential Issues. When you are trying to publish your app, you will get a crash report based on that you need to do the changes in your application. See, you will get a data in the play console where you can see how your app is performing, where it has been crashing. Like just an example, when the 20 users have been installing your app, in that you can see how many apps has been uh, performing very well and where is the uh, apps have been crashing so what are the issues that uh, app has been crashing you need to fix that that is you have to make sure you have to monitor that every day and backup and uh, seventh point is backup and recovery the data backup ensure there are the backup missionary in the place of critical data recovery plans who are the rollback and previous version if it is necessary Make sure whenever you are releasing the any uh, application, you should make sure the previous version data you have to keep it and then you have to do the changes. You have to keep that uh, file in a separate drive or any place. Then you have to keep the copy of that. Then you have to build that because Google says you have to keep the backup data of your code. You should not deploy again and again in that and it will crash and it will be a very problem for you. So make sure you have to keep a backup of your code okay and eighth point legal and consideration uh, legal considerations uh, license ensure you have a necessary license for any third party concerned of uh, content or a software used in your app complaint check the complaint with the local laws and religions uh, relation to your apps and content and function yeah uh, there is a, some legal cases also is there for your application just like uh, you are using any assets in that just take an example you have been publishing a game 
and in that you are using the assets of some pubg game or any game so it will becomes under into copyright uh, copyright so it, it it can be remove your app also and apart from that i see that code uh, in the code can all they you will buy the code and you will deploy in that you won't do any risk in make sure while you are buying the code can all uh, any app or code so make sure you have to do the reskin you have to change some logos and everything then you have to deploy if the same thing you are doing it will becomes under into copyright and apart from that the some people they will use a null files and null files also has a so much big issue please try to avoid the null uh, codes also it is a very harmful for you and it may be get a terminated to your account also because in that there is a virus will be there some firmware will be there so please make sure don't use that kind and whatever the deploying you are doing just take an example one more example you are using the betting application for that you need to have a license if it does not have a license you can't able to publish and uh, some government application you have a copyright license with that then only you can do otherwise you can't do and some apis also that uh, some apis like a raven apis you are using cricket apis using if you don't have a third party apis license or those things then it will be a big problem for you if you are using and without their information then again it will be terminate your account and apart from that legal cases also may be deploy on you and step to publish your apps as you can see all my previous video as you can see in the link also and then you can file uh, you can find in my uh, playlist also how to publish your app i hope it is maybe helpful to you i have shown you the eight steps Uh, what are the main things before publishing your app? Uh, I can't able to show you all the videos, so I am just playing the my other videos for you to to understand. So if I, let me know if you have any problem or anything. Uh, if you not this this documents also uh, have been uploaded in the Google Drive also. You can able to check. Uh, I will try to upload uh, this data in my website also. You can able to go and check it out. Uh, that is website is reset in product. You can go and over there. You can able to see that. Thank you so much.